Let's see what's going on. So the readings are gonna be a little out of order, but as you can see, my hands are on this guy. And I just made a comment in the last reading about the sun card. So we're gonna see what wanted to be illuminated. Because I was drawn to another combination. You know what? I can fix this. I can fix this. Alright, so let's see what's good and what's going on. Alright, you already know we're highly favored and protected. Let's see what bonus message wanted to grab my attention, but didn't have the opportunity to. Alright, let's see what's going on. Praise to the most high for another day and another dope reading. Influence in the read. Seven of Pentacles. We're investing slow and steady. Now, this is hard work, but we're not seeing too much of an outcome out, too much of a payout. All right, it ain't feeling too good, but you already know faith without works is dead. So we're going to pour our all into this because we know the Most High's got us. Ten of Cups. Is that the goal? Is that the intent? To have a happy, emotionally fulfilled life? Where it's comfortable, maybe not the most lavish, but very much emotionally fulfilling. Some real happy family vibe. Huh? You talking nice? It's my favorite card, if you ask me. All right, so it looks like you're heading right for it. And it looks like everything that you're pouring your time, energy, and effort into could be bringing this bad boy to fruition. All right, now it looks like you're very much passionate. Are right, you on pursuit of passion right now. Nothing wrong with that wand's energy. All right, now... Mm, maybe you're nervous about the payout that'll be coming with this situation. Let's keep rocking. Okay. Be real, geez. I see a tarot reader. Okay, we got a little tarot reader here. Doing your one-twos. Collecting your information. Very calculated. Very strategic with how you move. Okay. You've transformed a lot. Completely transformed who you are. Alright, you're now queen of swords. Alright. You like to sift through the BS. You want the truth and clarity, all right? Your discernment is whew, beautiful. Okay. King of Wands. Are you an action-oriented person? Huh? Are you about to take action on something right now? You're working diligently. You're taking your time. All right, now it's moving up a little bit faster. Okay, from page energy to a night. So we're working diligently, working through the night. Okay, working very hard. Slow and steady, but it wins the race, and we're very much aware of that. Four of Pentacles. All right, I wasn't trying to read this way, but I have to. Let's go. All right, so there's some things that are being illuminated. All right, maybe there's a particular King of Pentacles who's been holding back from coming forward. It looks like he has some sort of announcement. But it looks to be the same King of Wands dude who you have at a distance. Who you're like, yeah, and I'm not really feeling you, bud. Now, he wants to come forward. He's gained some sort of perspective here with this Two of Wands right there. Let's see what he's talking about. What is? What are you talking about, bub? What's going on? What are you talking about? Oh, so apparently he would like to fight for your love. All right. Now, he is collecting information. He could also be seeing a tarot reader since the end of the situation. All right. Seven of Pentacles. All right. Looks like he wants to come around and fight for this. You seem to hold the cup to his heart. All right. And he, there may be competing energies that are investing time in you. Let's see what's going on. Six of Pentacles. All right. So not only is it reciprocity, but it's also taking from undeserving parties and giving to the rightful party. All right, we have a new beginning, but it seems to be a slight interference of a third party. You're like, slight interference? Yeah. All right. So, yes, there was, was a potential for this to, you know, kick off, have a new beginning with this wonderful energy, but it didn't seem to happen. There was a third party energy that somebody was already giving to, committed to. And because of that, this Queen of Cups was like, yeah, nah, babes, I know my worth. I'll never be your third party. Absolutely not. Okay. All right, so he's trying to remain calm, cool, collect, tap into that infinite strength, all right? Because at the end of the day, he's going to come forward and attempt to apologize. All right, now, he may want to give some sort of admiration, and he's also not really sure how you'll be receiving uh, him coming forth and either apologizing or giving this admiration. 
But either way, he's kind of clueless as to what you're going to do or how you're going to react, how you're going to feel. That's why he's being very careful with how he's moving and approaching you because he feels like you, you truly have given up. And if you've given up on him, that means that sword is liable to cut him. truth is he wants to end that old cycle redeem himself and come back around and begin a new passionate pursuit so lots of sadness and sorrow remorse when it comes to the situation all right now he's been in deep contemplation with the four swords there thinking about things as he's healing all right all right so now we have ten swords and it looks like he's moving straight towards healing things with this queen of swords energy all right. Now he's been watching from a distance, dwelling on the fact that this is actually a missed opportunity for him. All right, and all he had to do from the rip was just put the work in the situation with the Eight of Pentacles, but it doesn't look like he wanted to. All right, so now he's questioning if I put the work in now, will I be successful? Will I be victorious? Will we get over the necessary work obstacles that were placed in front of us? So he's ready to come in here with the swiftness. All right, he's like yeah I, 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 I can i need to i need to i know she's walked away i know i know she's walked away from this emotional investment and she's kind of blocking me just you know just a little defensive when it comes to me and yes 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 I, i've done my research i've been watching all right i see that she's truly released me i can truly see that all right Oof. but she's so freaking attractive with that queen of wands all right so they're pretty much focused on coming back around and healing themselves with this divine feminine so they can move forward apparently somebody's not speaking somebody's a tarot reader one of the two is a tarot reader not both of them I'm waiting for this opportunity for to come in all right king of swords i'm not sure i believe that was the tower So King of Swords is over here having a tower, having major realizations, having some sort of awakening. All right. He's manifesting using his fullest potential. Now, it could just be that. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. All right. Could just be that willpower. All right. Being used to help bring about the desired outcome. Somebody is a freaking terror reader or spiritual goddess. One of the two. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Anywho. Somebody's done thinking about this. They're ready to bring this into fruition. Okay. Remaining calm, cool, collect, because there's the potential that they could be released. Almost obsessed with the idea of making this return and having this reconciliation with this past life. Now, this could also be a karmic past life energy. Let's check into that. Nope. They're obsessing about seizing this opportunity and building this Ten of Pentacles. All right. Choices, choices to be made. All right. So the choice that needs to be made is, do you want to take this leap of faith with this energy? They're ready. They're coming back around. They're all healed up. They've hopped through the same portal as you, and they're on the same timeline. There are some small problems you may have to work through with the Ten of Wands there, but it's mostly on their part, and the potential to heal it is definitely there. There will be some sleepless nights, a little bit of anxiety because of how slow and long it might be to heal this all right not necessarily but it's coming from the king of cups who's having the anxiety he knows he's made a bad decision and he just wants to fix it so this was the message trying to get our attention let's leave this right here love and like guys